So you might think of meat or large portions when thinking of upping your protein intake, but there are actually a lot of foods that contain an impressive amount of protein. Some of the foods on this list might surprise you. Here I'm gonna explain what protein actually is and why you even need it in the first place, and several foods that can help you up your intake. What is protein and why do we need it? So protein is a macronutrient, like carbs and fat. It's the building block for muscles, also known as amino acids, and it's found in every cell in our body. It's important for keeping our muscles, bones, and all of our body tissues healthy. Beyond our muscles and bones, protein is crucial for a whole slew of body functions, including our skin and hair health, it is the primary component of collagen, our healthy blood flow and blood pressure levels, immune health and injury recovery, and even how we digest and absorb other nutrients. How much protein do you need? Any one person's needs are individual to them, and they're based on a whole bunch of factors that no two people have exactly in common, like age, sex, weight, activity level, body composition, and more. So very generally speaking, the average adult needs about 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight, and one kilogram equals about 2.2 pounds. So if you're really good at mental math, this is your time to shine. But if you're not, that would equal about 55 grams of protein for someone who weighed 150 pounds. Luckily for most American adults, it's not difficult to meet your needs, even if you don't eat animal foods. But if you're looking to up your intake or have a higher personal need, these are some foods that can help. First, lean beef. So I'll admit that this is a pretty controversial note to start on when talking about protein, but it's hard to argue that beef is not a potent protein source. Three ounces has about 22 grams of protein. And if we think back to the average needs that we just mentioned, that would be about 50% of your daily protein needs. It's also a great source of several nutrients like B vitamins, zinc, and iron, which are important for healthy immune function and oxygen flow throughout the body. That said, a little bit goes a long way, and research has shown that if you do eat beef, moderation is best. That means frequency and portion. Chicken actually has more protein than beef. Three ounces has about 27 grams. Not to mention, it's super versatile and lower in saturated fat than red meat, so it's a great option if you're trying to follow a more heart-healthy eating pattern. Salmon has about 19 grams of protein for a three-ounce serving. And if you've heard to eat more fish, that's for good reason. It's also packed with heart-healthy and brain-healthy omega-3 fats. But buying salmon fresh can get pretty expensive, so opt for frozen or canned if you're on a budget. It also lasts longer. So eggs are actually the most affordable protein source in the grocery store, especially when you think of the per serving price. One large egg has about six grams of protein and it can be used in everything from breakfast to dinner. Hard boiled eggs even make a great snack on their own. But you know how bodybuilders used to like drink a bunch of raw eggs? Please don't do that. Two tablespoons of peanut butter has about seven grams of protein, which is more than a large egg. So yes, the humble PB&J of your childhood could have been a great source of plant-based protein. Use peanut butter in sweet dishes like smoothies, desserts, or sandwiches, or in savory dishes like noodles, stews, and soups. If you're allergic to peanuts or avoid using them, you can swap in basically any other nut or nut butter. They have pretty similar amounts of protein. Just be sure to check the label and avoid any nut butters that have added sugar. When you think of pasta, you might think of a carb, but pasta is also a great source of protein. One cup has about six grams. And as a quick aside, many foods are a source of a variety of nutrients and have a combination of carbs, proteins, and fats. It's all about balance and all about how they fit together in your overall eating pattern. You can add meat and cheese to your pasta for some additional protein, but know that it packs a punch as is. A half cup of cottage cheese has a whopping 12 grams of protein. And though it might not be the most glamorous food on this list, it's super versatile and worth a spot in your kitchen. Top cottage cheese with fruit as a quick snack, or you can use it in several savory dishes like lasagna or our creamy spinach dip, which is super delicious. Last but not least, lentils. I love lentils. I actually wrote an ode about how much I loved them. One cup of cooked lentils has 18 grams of protein. That's almost as much as a three ounce serving of salmon. They're also packed with fiber, antioxidants, and nutrients. They're shelf stable and they're super budget friendly. We have recipes that use them in everything from salads to smoothies, so get creative with this one. Protein is a super important nutrient and most of us already get enough, but variety is the name of the game when reaping the benefits. Plus, it can help you feel full and satisfied from your meals. Eat well and thanks for watching.